Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. All right, so today's video is about Rocket. So that's why he is here with me right now. Say hello. Say hi. So for all of you that don't know, Rocket is a French Bulldog. He is two years old. And we have tried it all when it comes to food for him. And right now what we are doing is home cooked meals, but there was a whole other process before we even got here. So um, Little Rocket here had a lot of regurgitation, re regurgitation, regurgitation, that. <laughs> Um, so we started him with uh, kibble when he was a puppy and I mean he he did okay we were giving him Stella and Chewy which is a great brand honestly it's really amazing however as he started getting older he started throwing up more and more so a friend of mine recommended I switch him to just real food, home cooked meals, and I gave it a try. And at first I was a little nervous about it. I wasn't sure how he was gonna react to it. You know, French Bulldogs have a lot of uh, sensitive stomach, so I wasn't really sure how he was gonna do, but I was so shocked because he didn't even need a, like a transitioning period. Like I just gave him a couple of days i only had a couple of kibbles left so i like mixed it in with the food for a couple of days and then after that it was just real food and he did not have like any issues any stomach issues he didn't have diarrhea which that that usually comes with when you're switching the food none of that and surprisingly he completely stopped throwing up too the only time he does throw up is like if he's like running um so i was very very shocked okay so today i'm here to show you how i make his meals so let's jump right into it okay so we are going to start with protein now today i'm doing beef for rocket um this is about two pounds of beef um sometimes i do chicken sometimes i do once in a while I'll do beef, he loves beef. Um, so I know that a lot of other people do about 10 pounds of protein and that's because they store a lot of the food. Um, my freezer is really small and as you can see I don't have a huge stock pot for large quantities of food.
into it. This is six bean medley. I really like it because it's just like a mixture of beans. I'll put this whole thing. Um, I like to rinse it because I feel like whatever water is in there, um, it's meant to preserve the beans. So I don't like to mix that in with his food. You can use any type of beans. Um, you can use black beans, pencil beans, chickpeas. But I like this whole mixture. It's like different types of things. What's actually in here is really very little. It's just this. So I put two cans. Okay, so the meat is done. But I need to drain it first. So... And then I'm gonna put it back into this big pot so I can mix everything in here. I'm gonna add my, my beans. just kind of break it apart a little bit like the really big pieces I give him about a cup this is for today so here we have it we have his meal for about a week it's gonna go in the fridge my fridge is super super cold so it does last really long and then his potatoes too both of those to the side so he's already looking for food so let's give him some food now. So the food is warm. It's not hot, so I don't need to reheat it. Usually I will have to reheat it. So I give him about a cup. This is like half a cup. And I'll put a spoonful of potatoes in here for him. So I usually do have a supplement that I add to this. This is the one that I use. However, my Amazon shipment is late. You can't wait to eat. My Amazon shipment is late, so it didn't make it into this one. So I picked this salmon oil formula from the vet. So I'm going to add a couple of pumps into his food. It is very important to supplement your dog's food because most of the food that we put in there doesn't have all of the vitamins or supplement that they need. So it's really important to get a good supplement for your dog food. So that's one pump. He didn't have one in the morning, so I'll add a second pump. And then also, I put some Greek yogurt in there. This is plain Greek yogurt for some probiotics for him. And this is his food. Well, he gets so excited to eat now. You ready for food? You ready for your food? Yeah, you want food? Let's go. Let's go get some food, come on. Yummy, yummy. Wow.
Rock it. Rock it. Mmm. Yummy food. Hey, rock it. Rock it. And that's pretty much for his meals. I mean, I do sometimes switch it up. I change like the vegetables and stuff like that. But for the most part, I do stick with that. One thing I will say is that nobody knows your pet better than you do. So just because something might work for Rocket, it might not work for your pet. So just be very conscious of that. I don't usually measure a lot of my food because I kind of know what works for him, what doesn't, what he likes. So thank you for watching my video. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else that, any other type of video that you would like to see about um, Rocket or just French Bulldogs in general. And I will see you next time.